I'm Andrea Bang, your MC for tonight. Welcome to night two of the 19th Annual Directors Guild of Canada Awards. The first award show that not only lets you celebrate the most esteemed talents in Canadian television, but judge their taste in living room knickknacks while you do it. I got this today at the dollar store. <laughs> Tonight, we're presenting the awards for dramatic series and short film, featuring the work of directors, production designers, sound and picture editors, and entire crews that make us all proud of the mastery of the craft in our community. So we all know the awards look a little different this year. It's fair to say this is the only award show you'll ever attend where you got to worry about your cat running across the keyboard while you're accepting the most prestigious trophy of your career and where the trophy gets mailed to you six weeks later. The awards are different this year, yes, but also in many ways the same. We have the same level of exceptional talent from the artists nominated in every category. And like always, it's still absolutely pointless to try and guess if you're gonna win based on where you're sitting. Now, to start us off tonight, I'd like to welcome the DGC's National Director's Division Chair, Warren Sonoda. Greetings, thank you, Andrea. Uh, as we're online tonight, I would like to acknowledge the traditional indigenous lands that we all live and gather on across Canada. Now, personally, I'm here in Toronto, which is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, uh, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples. And since this event also takes place at many locations across Turtle Island, where we all live and work within Indigenous territories, I encourage all of us who are Indigenous to learn more and support the Indigenous peoples in our communities. So, 2020. This has been a year of challenges. Uh, as you can look around the knickknacks behind me, I'm on day 218 uh, of this quarantine. Uh, and our members here have grappled with an industry shutdown, isolation and social distancing. And now we're adjusting to a host of new protocols needed to keep us all safe on set and in the workplace. During this, we've all confronted the realities of systemic racism and injustice in our society and in our industry. And I'm incredibly proud of how our members have answered the call. In these times, what we do, uh, or specifically what you do, is not less important, it's more. Not just for taking a little edge off the lockdown of quarantine, but because stories are how we come together across distance, like tonight, across boundaries. The stories we tell shape who we are. That's what our members do. That's why in these times more than ever, I'm so glad to be able to come together and celebrate our members, creators, uh, creatives of extraordinary talent and honor the stories that they tell. So thank you and enjoy the awards uh, with the amazing Andrea Bang. The last time we saw each other, Andrea, uh, live and in person in the before times was on the TIFF stage where uh, Andrea played Harold from Harold and Kumar go to White Castle in a live read that rocked the house. So tonight we're lucky to have Andrea in our homes tonight. Thank you so much, Warren. <laughs> so we have an exciting slate of nominees this evening. Vikings is nominated. This is a show about Scandinavians before they started making Volvos. Those folks did a real 180, from massacring entire villages to ABBA. CTV's Transplant is up for multiple awards tonight. Transplant is a fantasy sci-fi show about a Syrian doctor in Canada who is actually allowed to practice medicine. We have Utopia Falls nominated this year, which is set in a dystopian world 300 years in the future. Also, Altered Carbon, taking place in a dystopian world 300 years in the future. And of course, The Handmaid's Tale, taking place in the dystopian world that you are living in right now. Very depressing. All right, the first award of the night, Best Short Film, or as Canada's public funding agencies like to call it, the award for filmmakers they wouldn't give enough money to make a feature. Now, here to present our first award of the night, Best Short Film, please welcome from the new CBC miniseries Trickster, Anna Lam. Thank you, Andrea, the five films and filmmakers said a whole lot in a very little space of time. The nominees for Best Short Film are Andrew Moyer, Take Me to Prom, Trevor Anderson, Jesse Jams, Tiffany Shung, Sing Me a Lullaby. 
Glenn Matthews, teething. Jesse Shimada, a simple fucking gesture. And the winner is Tiffany Shung, Sing Me a Lullaby. Congratulations, Tiffany. <laughs> no, 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 no it's, it's live, right? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wow, we thought we would have learned better with Zoom. I guess not. Thank you to everyone at DGC for still bringing a sense of normalcy during the pandemic. Thank you to the DGC juries and fellow members for your vote. I can't tell you how much this means to me. It was an honor just to be nominated among such great filmmakers and stories. Um, I'm so fortunate to have made this film with such a dedicated, passionate team. Big thanks to uh, my co-producer, Priscilla Galvez, my uh, editors, Z Fung, Ricardo Acosta, my story consultants, Tiffany Boudin, Romeo Condito, Jennifer Shong, and Mary Steven. Thank you, thank you, Tom Thur, Daniel Pellerin, and Shane, and big shout outs to our executive in charge at CBC Docs, Leslie Burchard, and everyone at CBC that supported this process. I am so grateful for our partnership. Um, much love to Eugene and Luke for making this initial journey in 2005 possible and my wonderful DP, Jason Wong. <sighs> to my fiance, Victoria, who slightly ran in here <laughs> earlier, <laughs> and my entire family and friends, thank you for putting up with me and supporting me every step of the way. This award is dedicated to my grandmothers and my mother and all the women that have come before me. Your sacrifice and strength is what keeps me going. Thank you. Shit, shit. Keep safe, everybody. Thank you, Tiffany. Yay! <laughs> the last time I saw Tiffany was actually the same Tiff time as Warren. <laughs> She's awesome. Okay, to present tonight's award for Best Sound Editing for Dramatic Series, please welcome star of the hit series, Coroner, Sarinda Swan. Great sound can pull you in, draw you near, and make you feel immersed in another world. And our next five teams of nominees accomplished just that. The nominees for Best Sound Editing Dramatic Series are Lock and Key, The Expanse, The Handmaid's Tale, Altered Carbon. Anne with an E. And the winner is The Handmaid's Tale. David McCollum, Jane Tattersall, Brennan Mercer, Brent Pickett, and Kristen Hunter. Congratulations, you guys. Here to accept on behalf of the team is David McCallum. David, if you can hear us, uh, you need to unmute yourself. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Forgot that part. Uh, first, I'd really like to thank the DGC for all the support that you've shown to the membership this year. To Tim and the board, your leadership has been invaluable. I'd also like to thank the entire DGC awards team for putting on the show and bringing us together for some celebration. Congrats to all the nominees in the TV series category. Our sound community has grown closer these past few years, and I feel there's a strong mutual appreciation for the work that we all do. I'm very honored to accept this award on behalf of the entire Handmaid's Tale sound team. It's a very challenging project, and we're quite proud to receive this recognition. And lastly, to the amazing team at Take Five Productions, and in particular, Aaron Marshall, Corey Gudgeon, Catherine Blythe, and our producers extraordinaire, Sheila Hawking and Bruce Miller. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you, David. Now presenting the award for best picture editing in a dramatic series, 
star of the two-time DGC award-winning series, The Expense, Dominique Tipper. Thank you, Andrea. Great picture editing can make the subtlest glance feel as moving as the most devastating line of dialogue. And our next four nominees have spent their careers moving audiences one cut or splice at a time. The nominees for Best Picture Editing Dramatic Series are Aaron Marshall, The Handmaid's Tale. Gillian Custer, Anne with an E. Teresa De Luca, Coroner. Roderick Diogradas, Killjoys. And the winner is... Aaron Marshall, The Handmaid's Tale. Congratulations, Aaron. Wow, thank you very much. That's a great honor. Um, I have to thank uh, many people, including Dana Reed, the amazing, uh, actually Australian director uh, of this episode. But there were so many DGC people, obviously, involved with this, shot in Toronto, all over Ontario, actually. Um, so thank you so much to art department and all the people on set. And then, of course, we have their amazing sound team who just won the sound editing award. David McCallum, Jane Tattersall, everyone over at uh, Sim did an amazing job on this show. Uh, as David said, it's a very challenging project, extremely rewarding project to work on. Um, and basically you wanna just rise up to the uh, level of writing that comes from Bruce Miller, and in this case, Lynn Maxey, who wrote this episode. Um, and uh, you just want to rise up to the level of the acting uh, that comes from Elizabeth Moss and the rest of the cast, and particularly this, this episode, which is a bottle episode, almost exclusively about uh, her character. Um, so thank you uh, to everyone involved. It's, uh, it's a great honor. Thank you to the DGC. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Erin. Next up to present the award for best production design in a dramatic series, join me in welcoming from Hulu's international hit series, Rami, Dave Mahesh. Thank you. Uh, the jury members in our next category felt so impressed with this year's work, they couldn't limit themselves to just four picks or five. And so the six nominees for best production design dramatic series are Britt Doty, Impulse. Armando Sigrig Nulai, Frankie Drake Mysteries. Tony Ani, The Expanse. Andre Guimon, Transplant. Ingrid Urich, Titans. Rory Shaney, Lock and Key. And the winner is. Ingrid Urich, Titans. Congratulations. Wow, unmute. This is awesome, especially considering the six other contending shows. Um, thank you, DGC, for this honor, as well as being very present during these uncertain times. Every storm passes. Um, thank you, especially to my Titans art department to my agent, Tina Horowitz. Uh, thank you, Greg Walker, for having me design the Titan Tower, Akiva Goldsman for directing a very fine episode. We stand on tall shoulders with our Toronto art department, set deck props and construction teams. Um, luckily, socially distanced champagne still tastes like champagne. Cheers. Thank you, Ingrid. <clears throat> Presenting the final award of the evening for Outstanding Directorial Achievement in Dramatic Series, please welcome the acclaimed director of shows like American Gods and The Mandalorian, Deborah Chow. Our next nominees include International Co-Productions, Service Productions, and 100% Homegrown Canadian Stories, and each one stands as a testament to the talent of our industry. The last award of the evening, the nominees for Outstanding Directorial Achievement in a Dramatic Series are Daniel Grew, Vikings. Don Wilkinson, Lock and Key. 
Holly Dale, transplant. Stephen D. Sergic, C. And Ken Girardi, fortunate son. And the winner is Holly Dale, transplant. Congratulations, Holly. And Holly, I'm not sure if you can hear us, but uh, you need to unmute. Sorry, I was so excited that I forgot to unmute. Um, I'm, I'm very thrilled. This was one of the best experiences I've, I've ever had with the most wonderful group of people. And, you know, very seldom does a script like this come along where it's just magic from the beginning. And I want to thank Virginia Rankin and Joseph Kay for trusting me with it. I want to thank Laura McKinley for championing all the medical stuff and being by my side. I want to thank Tara Woodbury and, of course, CTV, Tom Hastings, Corey Coe, Michelle. I really want to thank Pierre Gill, who is a genius, and Andre Guillemot, who is magic. He built an entire hospital. It was just devastatingly beautiful. Anyways, I'm excited. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you, Holly, and congratulations. Thank you. And congratulations to all the nominees and winners tonight. Um, that's our show. <laughs> that's it. You can put your sweats back on or keep them on. Um, thank you for joining us and honoring the best in Canadian dramatic series and short film. We will be back tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Jewel State to celebrate more great talent. So thank you, good night, and please continue to support and celebrate Canadian content. Thank you. Bye.